Why do we do what we do at Mass, and what does it matter? That's what we're going to be talking about today on Ignition. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Chris Bergwald, and we want to set your faith ablaze so that you might live the adventure that comes from a relationship with Jesus Christ. Before we dive deep into the Mass, we want you to know that we love listener feedback, so if you've got questions about today's episode, or if you have ideas for future episodes, please contact us. The easiest way to do so is by email, and the address is ignition at sfcatholic.org. Again, ignition at sfcatholic.org. O-R-G. I'm joined in studio once again by Renee Kranz. Hey, Renee. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. So you ready for <laughs> our, I said, our deep dive into the, the mass. Um, this is the a, deepest a, dive ever in the history of mankind. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, some people <laughs> have written a lot about the That's mass, true. but I've lost track. I think this is like part eight I or don't nine. Even know. Um, so folks, if, if you haven't had, if you haven't, heard the previous episode so we're we are taking a meander you yes. know it's finally spring the birds are chirping we're wandering the grass through the tulips, is green. Right? we're tiptoeing through, through the, the tulips. tulips um and so that eight or nine episodes in we're finally getting to the gloria so <laughs> did you that that's you forgot it's been a few weeks we're all the way to the gloria uh but seriously so um we are because the reason we're doing this that we want to Take our time. Yeah. Why do we do what we do at Mass? So, yeah, we are going at a a very, very deliberate intention. So don't try to pace. listen to these, like, during Mass to try to give you some, because you will be there for several weeks, I <laughs> <Yeah>. think. <laughs> that will be the longest Mass in the history guess, of mankind. Yes. That will be the longest Mass. So, yeah, this is a, I, yeah, we, we joke, but it, it we're, we're at this weight, we're but probably really looking at 20 yeah, 20 it's really episodes. good stuff. So, and I have good. gotten some feedback, by the way. Good, um, good Mor- feedback. Mor- no, good, or, yeah, okay. I, think, I think it was Morgan who emailed me and is, has really enjoyed. Father Morgan, series. you said? No, no, oh. no. There's a young woman who okay. I met at a priest ordination a couple ah, years ago. Sure. Um, so, is really enjoying this. So, um, yeah. So, we we last time uh, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, we did the penitential act, mm-hmm. and so this is still all part of the the opening rites right. of the mass. So we we talked a little bit about um, the parts of the mass that sometimes aren't included right. um, within the mass, mm-hmm. and the, what we're we're talking about today, we're starting to talk about today, or what we're going to talk about today for, first today. Uh, is the Gloria, and the Gloria is uh, not found in Mass during... During Lent? Yes. And Advent, Advent. I believe. Yep. And uh, Mass during the week. And Daily Mass. Yes, Correct. Mass. Absolutely. Yes, yes. That's that's a... Yeah. So, uh, to be very clear here, obviously, what we're going through is the Sunday, typical Sunday mm-hmm. Mass experience. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, just, R- Renee, a reminder, why are we going so, some people might say, laboriously... <laughs> A snail space. <laughs> why? Why? Well, to me, it's because we, as Catholics, we just go to church every Sunday, and we don't really always pay that good of attention. Right? Yeah, it's true. So we're gonna really dive into this so that we we can have a deeper understanding what we're doing there. Yep. In each piece. Yep. And it can mean more to us. Yep. We've talked more than once about how the mass is the source and summit of the Christian life. Yep. So it's the greatest thing that we can do. It's the greatest yep. prayer that we can offer. Yeah, let's make our worship more worshipy. More worshipy. <laughs> worshipy worship. That might be the title of this episode. Worshipy worship. Because it does fit with the Gloria. Yeah, That's so, a Reneeism. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's, a good, it's a good one. Not all of them are good. That one is. Uh, <laughs> kidding. Uh, yeah, so, so to really pray the Mass as fully mm-hmm. as we possibly can. Because yeah. that's the way there. I've talked many times in this series and elsewhere. You and I, as lay people, are not just spectators watching what Father does up there, up in the altar with the service and the other people. No, we're we, we part, um, our role is somewhat different than mm-hmm. the priests yeah. for sure, uh, but we are full participants just right. as much as he is. We right. are praying the mass together with him, even when we're not actually saying the same words. Right. Okay, so we are to the Gloria now, Renee. Um, do you have any idea? the history of the glory. So this is this, it's oftentimes sung, but it can just be said. Um, but uh, it, it's called the, the, um, 
Sometimes I think the major doxology, the okay. minor doxology is glory be to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that little prayer. Oh, right. As it was in the beginning is now. Um, the ma- this is sometimes called the major doxology. Most of us know it as gl- the, gl- the Gloria or the glory to God in the highest, mm-hmm. uh, Gloria in excelsis Deo. Any idea the origins of the Gloria? Mm, you mean where it comes from or how it started? Either, either. Well, I know it comes from the Bible. <laughs> We still need that. Inf- I know. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. Um, I feel like it's, some of this has got to be from one of the archangels. Very, you are very, 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 very close. Okay. So this, the, the opening lines, so we, we will hear uh, in a moment, but not right now. We're just going to go through it. Okay. Um, not real slowly, just read through it to right. fam- familiarize ourselves with it. Because for me, oftentimes, the creed is the best example, but even the Gloria <laughs> When I'm outside of mass, if you say, Chris, can you say the creed? Oh, yeah, I say it every Sunday. <laughs> I Wait, believe in <laughs> one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven, and Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> the Gloria for a long time. Now, there have been times when I've made this part of my personal prayer, so it's, it is still a bit for more mm-hmm. familiar. But still, I like to have the missalette or oh, I something do. just to make sure. Especially since the new translation. Yeah, if I yeah. do not have it in front of me, I will revert back to, to whatever yeah, it was before. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it does begin. So we'll, we'll, we'll go through it just to rem- remind people, refresh people's memory. But it begins, the opening of the glory is glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. This is from Luke 2.15. These are the words of the angels at Jesus's birth to the shepherds. Okay, right. Yeah. Or the angel that appears, and then there's this host of heavenly angels. Right. I knew it was angels somewhere yeah. along the yep. way. Yeah. So these, those are the words um, that, that um, are used to announce to the shepherds Jesus' birth. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. So that's how it be. So very early on, like, so the Gloria, I didn't realize that until I was just doing some prep for today, mm-hmm. is very ancient. So, yes, those first words, obviously, mm-hmm. they go back to right. what the angels said, right. and Luke wrote down a few decades later. But the rest of the Gloria, it was within a couple centuries tops oh. that the rest of it. So um, we don't know for a certain, but I think you could see how this happened was somebody took that verse of Luke's and just – in a moment of worshipy worship, just elaborated <laughs> on it, yep. and we we got and over time, sort of, I'm sure it 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 it, it was changed and modified, right? But pretty quickly, we got something much like much like the form that so we that was in here. the pretty early church, very early. So yeah. um, the sources that I saw by the third century, okay. it was mostly, and and some argue that it was actually all of it was composed even yet in the first century. Wow. I don't know. I don't know that we know that for certain at this right. point, but it's a possibility. Sure. But certainly within, it's not something that was done in like like, the 1400s. Right, right. You know, it was very early on. Right. So just to re- refresh people's memory, this is how the Gloria goes. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. So that was a very perfunctory reading Mm -hmm. of what is really a beautiful prayer and is meant to be sung um, I'd say full throated, but for those of us who don't have great voices, I don't usually go full throated. You don't have a great voice. I don't have a great oh, singing voice. Oh, that no. kind of surprises me. If I if I took some 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 voice lessons, mm-hmm. I think I could because I can I can tell I I'm not tone deaf. Okay, I can tell. Oh, Chris, you're not hitting this note right now. Just <laughs> do it more. Quick. You're not just wildly singing no, whatever. No. Yeah, I, I can hear. I can't hit the note. I just have never developed the skill to hit the note right away. Sure, sure. Um. So some practice. I'm gonna stand next to you at mass. Sometime oh boy! And listen carefully. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that. Um, so this is a hymn of praise and glory to God. So again, the larger context here: we started with mass. There was the greeting, uh, the, the sign of the cross, the greeting, and then we we acknowledged our sins and begs God, got begged God's forgiveness. Mm-hmm. And again, as I said very early on, this is the pattern. Of, of ancient Jewish worship going all the way back to Mount Sinai. Uh, 
where people would come after they'd fasted, they'd come and sort of repent of their sins and give praise and glory to God. Mm -hmm. So the structure of the mass is the same, even though, even though um, the glory is not always sung, the mass has always got elements of, of giving praise and glory to God. Right. But certainly the Gloria is, is, is one of these, these hymns um, that does highlight this, Worshipy, worship worshipy nature worship. of mass. Yep. So it's all addressed to God, mm-hmm. and and I don't know if uh, you've noticed before. You you may have, you may not have, but it Father, Son, and Holy mm-hmm. Spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, so it starts off, uh, Lord to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill, and then it goes into the 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 praise of the Father. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Mm-hmm. So praise, blessing, adoration, glory, thanksgiving to Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. We are praising the Father for who he is, first and foremost, and then what he's done for us. Right. So there is thanksgiving in there, but that comes fifth after praise, bless, adore, and glorify. Right, right. Why? All the things do God. What? Uh, all the things do to all God. All the things that are yeah. due to God. Yeah. Exactly. Why? Why do we have to praise and glorify God? Is he like does he have is he this need a it? big is this a big <laughs> ego trip on the part of on the part of the creator? No. No. The way okay, so this is I'm gonna be the audience. The way I've always understood it is that this is for our benefit so that we can grow in holiness by recognizing our creator. Did I say that good? Ding, 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 oh. ding, ding. That was, yeah. <laughs> we give praise and glory to God, not because he needs it, but because we do. Right. So we have talked about this before. The, okay. People might hate this. It might just rub us the wrong ways, as, especially as Americans, but just as human beings. <laughs> Darn Americans. As creatures, <laughs> as creatures, we will worship something. Yes, we will. It, yeah. We, we might say, what do you mean? No, I'm my own God or whatever. I mean, some people may go that like, you know. but then you're worshiping yourself, but, <laughs> but you're not, there's always something external yes. to you. Yep. Um, that, that, that you, what's the thing that you spend your time focused on? Mm-hmm. Maybe obsessing about mm-hmm. that's your God. Mm-hmm. We are hardwired to, to worship. Right. So. We glorify and praise God because it's in our nature to worship something, right. and he's the only thing that's worthy of our right. worship. Because if we worship anything else, it's going to screw us up. Right. Well, and because because we're sinners, we are much more inclined to more easily worship something else than God. Yep, absolutely. So absolutely. Th- this yep. is, we come by that naturally. We do. We, but because it's not, of original sin. Yes, yes. It's just not our God. The good nature. It's the <laughs> right, right. So by nature, so Adam and Eve, as 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 unfallen human beings, but as creatures, they were inclined to worship. But before the fall, they worshipped right, right, right. Their worship was well ordered. Mm-hmm. Um, after the fall, we are suddenly suspicious of God, and we think mm-hmm. he's. Uh, this is just a big ego trip, and mm-hmm. he doesn't really. He's just making us do this stuff because he like gets kicks from <laughs> or right. whatever. Right. Uh, so that's that. That is the, that. That suspicion of God and mm-hmm. where we worship the wrong thing instead of God is because of original sin. Right. But the 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 impulse to worship something, and most of us don't recognize it as that. We don't call it that. But that's what it is. An impulse to worship yep. something is because we're creatures. Yep. I think it's a good. This is getting slightly off the topic, but it would be a good exercise for all of us. And it's something I've done off and on to think about what is the thing I worship. Or things. <laughs> but right. What is the, the big thing? Yeah. What are that, those? That those... is getting before God. Right. So it's sort life. of like we have, if you will, in our heart, like there's a there's a room in our heart where we have our secret totem pole. <laughs> yes. And is it work? Is it right. could it could even be your spouse? Is it it could Green be your Bay kids. Packers? It could it could be the Vikings. Probably not. It could yeah, probably not. Nobody's who's gonna <laughs> worship the Vikings. It could be it could be money. Right. It could, it could be, be, it could I be go so back. many things. It could be your spouse. It could I, be your I, I spouse. Think we could think, uh, we've talked or about your this family in general. We could think of the bad things that we're tending to worship, you mm-hmm. know, sex, drugs, rock and roll kind of stuff. It could be a good thing. But it could be a good thing that we're giving undue mm-hmm. importance It could to. be your work in the diocese. It could be. At church, whatever it is. It could be. Which is Absolutely. a very good thing, but. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, that was a little off topic. No, that's but. great. So, so, but just 
why are we praising and glorifying? He doesn't need it. No, mm-hmm. we do. Yeah. It's a good thing for us to do. And and we do owe it to him. Again, not because he needs it, but in justice, he is due our praise right. and worship. Right. So that's the first. So those those six sort of uh, um, acknowledgments of uh, the six different ways that we give praise to praise to God, and that's directed to the Father. And then there's the transition. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the, Son of the Father. So just first we begin by who he is. Mm-hmm. You are the Lord, Jesus Christ. You are the only begotten Son of the Father. You are, again, Lord God. Mm-hmm. And you are the Lamb of God, and you are, again, the Son of the Father. So right. only begotten Son and Son of the Father. There's there's some repetition. We're going to see some yep. more in a minute, yep. which is just a way that we, you know, why do we repeat things? Because they're really important. Yes. <laughs> and we have bad memories. <laughs> and we have bad memories. You in particular. Yes, I know. <laughs> you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. So right away, we're acknowledging what Jesus has done. Mm-hmm. So we, st- we start off by praising him for who he is, but now what, what he has done for us. You take away the sins of the world, our sins, have mercy on us. Mm-hmm. You take away the sins of the world. Again, people, mm-hmm. he's taken away our sins. Receive our prayer. Right. So we're giving this praise to the Father through you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. So your place is the place of glory and glorification as, yes, the son of God, who is also man. Right. Uh, And again, a reminder to have mercy on us. Mm -hmm. And it continues with him, but then the Holy Spirit's going to be brought in. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. Uh, So it's, it's... Mostly focused here in the middle on Jesus, and then at the end, uh, acknowledging with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Mm-hmm. So he, Jesus alone is the Holy One, the Lord, the Most High. He is the Christ. Mm-hmm. And to him, in him, with the power of the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Mm-hmm. Amen. I So there, there have been times when I've made this part of my uh, daily prayer, just because it's a way for me to make sure in my own personal prayer that I am giving praise and glory to God mm-hmm. because uh, I can tend to focus on the things that I want, right. which might be good things. Right, right. You know, uh, my right now is recording. I've got kids taking uh, semester tests oh, and AP yeah. exams today. I want them to go well. Mm-hmm. My prayer this morning, I prayed for those things. Right. Um, but I also want to make sure that I'm giving glory to God. Right. Can I ask a question about yeah. a piece in there? Do you want to um, see it? Yeah. See it? So, because <laughs> you know I have a bad memory and I might forget. Um, okay. So it says you alone are the Holy one. So is, do you think that's confusing to some people because it then it's referring to Jesus? And as we know that this is a Trinity, does that seem confusing when it says you alone are the Holy one in reference to Jesus? So that's a great point. I think there's a couple actually, that's not where I thought you were going to go. Um, that, could be confusing. I think here, the re- so obviously it's God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. who are all holy. Right. Um, so why does the Gloria here name him? I think because among human beings, okay. he is the holiest one. Sure. And this is the other thing. Well, if he's holy, if he's the holy one, what about the rest of us? Right. Uh, well, he's the source and origin of our holiness. Okay. So I, I think that's a great, I, I think that's the sense in which we say okay. you alone are the Holy right. One. Not you alone among sense. the persons of the Trinity, right. but right. you alone among human beings right. because you are one. Okay. Where did you think I was going to go? Uh, well, I thought you meant with, <laughs> if he's holy, how can we, oh, oh, how can no. we be? Uh, I, I did have a friend um, uh, who became a Lutheran pastor, like his dad. His dad was a Lutheran pastor. And in college, when I had my reversion, we started... Um, uh, <laughs> dialoguing we started arguing in the best arguing. sense of the word in the best sense of the word rob and i argued in high school about all sorts of things uh so when i'm finally taking my catholic faith seriously we argued about catholicism lutheranism mm-hmm. and rob's dad again who was also a, a lutheran pastor um used the gloria which um most lutheran congregations uh, use yeah. as part of their their worship service L- rob's dad uh used this uh, as as a way to try to disprove the papacy, what? because what do we call the Pope? He's the Holy Father. Holy Father. 
Oh, yeah, you can't say that about anybody, well, right? <laughs> you, you Catholics say that Jesus, you. the Pope is the Holy Father. Well, in the Gloria, you say Jesus is alone is the Holy One. Okay. Yep. The, the Pope who, yes, we hope that he's holy. We do right. desire he be holy. And if he's holy, it's because of Jesus. Right. And that's the thing. You can't, we can't say that that's the only person who could be holy or Jesus is the only one who can be holy. If there's no hope for the rest of us to be holy, I don't right. know how anybody's getting that. Well, and there's reference. So we, have, we, and have, I don't we need get, that part. <laughs> I don't want to go too often, but throughout scripture, um, the saints are referred to as the holy ones. Mm-hmm. In Revelation, the holy ones around the thr- standing around the throne. I mean. Right. Like that, that's taking a little yeah. bit too rigidly. Right. 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 So, um, so folks, if you're just tuning in, you are listening to Ignition. I'm your host, Dr. Chris Berg, while talking with Renee Kranz today about uh, the Gloria as part of the Mass. Mm-hmm. So I do think this is one of the, and this is a little bit about, okay, so application. Next, next time you're at Sunday Mass, maybe before Mass, if you have time, um, Read the Gloria and the, oh, and dirt like as you said you do during the mass you've got in front yeah, of you. Yeah. But to follow along and to really to to really um, do what we're saying, mm-hmm. we praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Uh, you mm-hmm. alone mm-hmm. are the Holy One. So don't just. It's so easy for us once we know these words to just sort of say them, but say them with intention. Right. Well, and even say them and be thinking about something exactly. else. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. That's what I mean. To, to <laughs> yeah. be thinking about what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, I think would be, it, it's, I mean, that's, again, making the mess what it really is. Mm-hmm. And it really is a beautiful yes. prayer. So yeah. um, we do have a few minutes left. I do want to talk about the collect. Collect. <laughs> Uh, if you're okay with that, unless, yeah. but, but do you have anything? Else I would love, like, I would love to get through another tiny little piece okay. of the mass in one episode. So nothing else with the Gloria. <laughs> okay. So. All right. We, all right. Um, so the collect mm-hmm. is the last part of the opening, the introductory yeah. rites of the mass. Mm-hmm. So there's four general introductory rites, liturgy, of the word, liturgy, of the Eucharist concluding rites. Mm-hmm. So the collect is the last part of the mass and the collect was with a new translation, 2011, 11 years ago, well, 11 years ago this fall, mm-hmm. um, we got the, this was renamed. It used to be called the opening prayer. Oh, okay. So the, in Latin, it's the, they made colle- it fancy. And the collect it's in Latin, it's the collecta. So they, they made the English more closely reflect what the Latin actually sure. says. Why do you think this prayer is called the collect? Because we collect ourselves and... I don't know. Yeah, I got so nothing. <laughs> collect. No, you're, you are you are barking up the right tree. Okay. So the, in Latin, collecta to gather. Right. So at this point, we're sort of we yeah, we are in a sense collecting ourselves, recollecting ourselves, and and we're coming together now again, focused on the prayer that this priest on our behalf, sort of he is as in a sense our ambassador now. Mm-hmm. He's oftentimes in a way God's ambassador to us, but he's also our ambassador to God in a right. sense. So he is going to say these words, but we are joining with him. Even though right. we don't say the words, we're joining with him right. in this this collect. So um, there was something actually, This there's a connection here to the Gloria. And maybe we've talked about this in a previous episode in the series, but Renee... Who is the object of address in the mass the vast majority of the time? Mm, I think it's Jesus. It's not. It's God the Father. It is. I, yeah. So I had a one in three chance, right? So you, <laughs> you, you did have a one in three chance. Most of most of the mass, especially you, you, when we get to one day the Eucharistic prayer. That's, the, I think, the one because Jesus becomes really present, and yet all of the Eucharistic prayer, it refers to Jesus, but it's addressed to the Father. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the fact that in the Gloria, we we speak directly to Jesus, if you will, we're, 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 the words that we just looked at, mm-hmm. focused on Jesus, um, we're speaking to Jesus, is a little bit unusual. Um, there are occasionally collects that are addressed to Jesus, but okay. they're very rare. Oh, you're right. That Most of the time. So this yeah. is this is general. And you see this in the opening, but especially at the end of the collect. Mm-hmm. So uh, the one I'm reading, just as an example, is the sixth Sunday of Easter. So okay. if folks are listening to this live on the radio or uh, shortly thereafter, this is the, the, the collect from Mass that you were, will hear, hear or just heard. Grant Almighty God that we may celebrate with heart-developed devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Christ, and that we may, and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold on to in what we do. 
through Christ our Lord, our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever right. and ever. Amen. Right. So it starts up, grant Almighty God. So, we, oh, it's the rest of Father, Son, right. Holy Spirit. Nope. Oftentimes in Scripture, or in, in, in Scripture, and therefore in the Mass, because the Mass flows from Scripture, um, God might be referring to just God the Father. Right. Oftentimes. Right. So in the, the prayer of the church, flowing as it does from the prayer of the Bible, uh, we see that. So grant Almighty God in this collect is, is, is referring to the Father. And we know that because at the end, that, that conclusion, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, mm-hmm. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. So the collect is gathering our prayers together, and there's always some recognition of what God has done for us. Mm-hmm. Sometimes of His attributes, who He is. So Almighty God, mm-hmm. You're mighty. Um, so we're asking to produce it. Grant that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that we and that we relive in remembrance. And that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold on to in what we do. So we're asking the Father to help us to do something mm-hmm. as a result. Mm-hmm. Of this. I don't know if it was you in a, how much time do we have left? A couple minutes? Uh, just over a minute. Oh, okay. Was it you who said recently, maybe in another episode or something that this is a good place to like look at this every day? And, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, because and just this, have that as your prayer in your head every yes, day. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So this, this prayer finds itself in morning prayer and evening prayer and liturgy of the hours. Right. Um, and it is, it is one of the, it's part of the proper. So maybe yes. we'll talk about this next yeah. time. It's part of the, 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 the prayers of the mass that do change, um, from Sunday to Sunday Yeah. during Easter or the, during, um, Advent, Lent and Easter. It also cha- changes every day, but oh, okay. in ordinary time, um, uh, uh, unless it's a feast of a feast day in, during ordinary time, the collect uh, for a, a, a weekday of ordinary time, it comes from this, that the previous Sunday. Sunday. Oh, okay, okay. But during, like right now, we are in Easter. Right. Uh, so the collect changes with every single oh, Mass. Wow. So yes. so this is just a beautiful prayer. Also, it does change. So I, I, this is one of the prayers that I love to pray yeah. uh, before Mass begins uh, and then enter because it's one of the ones that does change. So to right. familiarize myself with right. it. Right. So Renee. Two parts of the Ooh, mass look at in that. one episode. Uh, we That's a huge the, accomplishment. We, yeah, I know, for us, exactly. <laughs> so at the Gloria, we're giving glory and praise to God, and now we conclude the introductory rites with the collect where we're offering these these prayers to the Father. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Renee. You bet, thanks. Folks, that will wrap up this episode of Ignition. Again, you can email us, ignition at sfcatholic.org, with any thoughts, ideas, or questions for future episodes. And until next time, may God bless you.